The sea and the sand are the reasons why tourists come to the island of San Pedro and Berguisqui. However, the atmosphere seems little affected by the tragedy that occurred over the weekend. Behind me and those idyllic coconut trees inside that home, Gregory Farr, the 52-year-old Florida native, was shot once to the back of his head. His caretaker last saw him alive around 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. 24 hours later, his dead body was found in his living room. The shot that killed Fall would not have been heard by anyone because he lived almost six miles away from San Pedro town. To get to his residence on the north end of the island means driving about 40 minutes through a muddy dirt road, through an overgrown and bushy obscure path by golf cart. Fall, a contractor by trade, built the house in which he died. The police say Fall was last seen alive by an unnamed person around 10 p.m. Saturday night. Fall lived alone and his killer or killers passed two doors including a grill security door prior to reaching inside. However, the police reported that there was no sign of forced entry into the building. San Pedro police visited the residence of 52-year-old U.S. National Gregory Vaillant Fall of five and three quarter miles north of San Pedro town. His housekeeper of Boca del Rio area San Pedro reported that at approximately 7.20 AM, she arrived at Mr. Fall's home where she saw him in a motionless state lying in a pool of blood. The police were called and the scene was processed where one 9mm expended shell was recovered. The body had an apparent gunshot wound to the back of the head. Mr. Fall was transported to the Carthusian Memorial Hospital where he was pronounced dead at 1.25 p.m. We heard that he had been having an ongoing dispute with his neighbor, who also made a substantial contribution to the police department on Friday. Yes. Well, I just spoke with the investigating officer, and there are several leads that, they, that the police are actually following in that. Um, and that, of course, as you mentioned, is one of them. But nothing has been, it, it has not um, brought about any tangible conclusion as yet. So. We, the motive has, has not yet been established. Following the murder of American national Gregory Fall, police in San Pedro have detained one man for his murder. They are also seeking American national John McAfee for questioning. McAfee is well known because he's the founder of the antivirus that bears his name. McAfee, who has a house in the area, has not been seen since this incident. A week ago on Thursday, November 8, McAfee donated some equipment, including taser guns and batons, to the San Pedro Police Department. Now the department is seeking him as the main person of interest in the murder investigation. McAfee is no stranger to the law, and he was arrested in May 2012 at his compound outside Orange Walk Town. The raid conducted by the gang suppression unit resulted in the discovery of, quote, 10 firearms, 7 12-cage pump action shotguns, one 12 gauge single action shotgun, one Taurus 9mm pistol and one 9mm CZ pistol were found. Five air rifle with scopes resembling sniper rifles that use 6.26mm slugs were also found and 270 12 gauge cartridges were also found. Additionally, 9mm rounds were and 20.38 rounds were also taken." Unquote. McAfee, who had licenses for some of the weapons, was not phased. The Mexican police has been contacted to detain McAfee if he attempts to cross the border or if he is found in Mexico. Meanwhile, Fall's family from South Florida is reportedly making preparations to retrieve his body and repatriate it back to the U.S. Reporting for News 5, Jose Sanchez.